the shit. I hate what this looks like right now, and I hate what my... I don't know where else to film, like, I've got a convenient side table here that I can just put my camera on, and it's just like, hi! I don't have to do anything but just literally put my camera on. Also, I don't know why I'm always wearing shorts, like I hate my legs with an absolute passion. So a little old me sat in shorts, I know you can't see my legs right now, I don't know why I'm telling this because I just realised that actually, as I said that, you can't in fact see my legs right now, so that was just one big waste of my time and yours. But hi everyone, what's new? Hey what's everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. I really haven't posted on here in a hot sec, I can't remember the last thing I actually posted on this channel. I have I sort have of neglected, neglected it and, it and just kind of kind forgotten of about, about it a little bit. If I, that's a lie, I haven't forgotten about it. I just have been posting all my vlogs on my main channel, which you'll probably see. It's just been really nice to, obviously I've always said I just love vlogging. I prefer vlogging over any of the style of content. Obviously I love everything else that I do, but vlogging for me is just really easy. I just feel like it's natural. <laughs> it just comes natural, do you know what I mean? Like just picking up my camera and being like, hey guys, <laughs> la, 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 laugh, 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 joke funny. So being able to post my vlogs on my main channel is actually something that I've wanted to do for a while, so I'm kind of not complaining. However, it does mean this little community of people we have here, which were kind of my my people, my ish, my shit, my people that I'd sit and just talk shit to. I kind of feel like I've neglected you a little bit. I did in fact ask you guys on Instagram to send me over some questions. I really haven't done a QA and a in the longest time, not even on my main channel. I've been doing like assumptions videos and stuff, but an actual old fashioned, good old, sun's coming back out, q and I haven't done one in a while. Also, stay hydrated kids. This is in fact water. I've been drinking so much water lately that I'm so proud of myself. My skin and everything is thanking me for this. Um, so drink water and let's get into some questions. So someone's Said, how are you finding Manchester? I actually really enjoy being in Manchester. Me and Haz, if you didn't know, hi everyone. We moved to Manchester, you already know this. If you watched any of the, any of the video of mine in the past month, we've been here, how long have we been here? Oh my God, we've been here longer than a month. We moved on the 16th of August and that was kind of a weird time to move. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't feel like we've experienced Manchester. I keep saying to Haz when people ask, do we prefer Manchester over London? It doesn't feel like we've actually left London purely because one, in the last few months of living in London, we never really went out and like actually lived in London anyway so it feels like nothing's really changed in that sense but also we've not really done anything in Manchester we moved like a week before my birthday obviously we did all the full moving thing that took us like, like a week to get everything settled and moved in and stuff and then it was my birthday so then I went home to see my parents for a little bit and then we came back and then a couple of days after that we went on holiday and now we're here so it's like we've not really been in Manchester we've been here a while but in that month we've been really busy doing other things so it's not like we've really experienced it we've been to a couple of bars we've been out a few times we've been shopping and stuff Stuff. And I don't really see a comparison like I'm not missing London one bit I think we didn't really live in London properly to be able to miss it as such I was gonna say I miss my friends that are in London But all my friends moved out of London, which is also why me and has sort of left London as well Obviously would love to have been there longer to see Flossie and Olivia more But apart from that there's no one really in London anymore that we necessarily would have hung out with anyway So yeah, love Manchester bloody amazing. I pick up my car next week I think that'll be the turning point. I think then I'll answer to the question of how do I find Manchester once I have a car and I can go around and we can do bits and bobs here and there uh, then I feel like it'll feel like there's a difference because right now we're still living as like we did in London there's so many questions about penis size and um, I am kind of scared when are you getting laid honestly I'm asking myself that question I'm not too sure oh someone said what's your go-to outfit right now I've really been loving like crew neck jumpers like this like these sweatshirt type things I always call it a crew neck and everyone's like mm, it's not a crew neck I just like throwing one of these on and probably just nothing but my underwear currently I I do in fact have some black shorts on. I feel like a little schoolboy, but I do in fact have these black shorts on. I normally would just sit around in my underwear and a jumper. That's like my go-to. If I'm leaving the house, I'll just throw some trousers on. Which trousers I've been wearing lately though? Some black jeans and some green trousers you may have seen me rocking. I can't tell you where they're from just yet. I can't. All will be revealed shortly. <laughs> I hear that I am that person that I hated at one point. Like, I am the bitch that I fucking hated. Ooh. Hey. Some of these questions are a little bit spooky and gooky, aren't they? How many threesomes have you had? None. I think everyone thinks I'm a massive whore. I'm sorry that my hair just looks like this, I really am. I just caught myself in the little camera and it is not, not fun at all. I can't, can't tell you. How long did you cook? 
Someone said, lovely. Oh, you want a gap year? I get so many questions on Instagram, especially. I feel like some people that follow me on Instagram, well, obviously, don't watch my YouTube videos, but I get so many questions like, are you on a gap year? Are you studying in Manchester? All that stuff. <clears throat> I've actually graduated uni. Like, we graduated, obviously, during the pandemic, which was really, really fun. We didn't have a graduation. Otherwise, it probably would have been a graduation vlog, like a little, get ready with me to graduate. Um, but no, we actually graduated. I graduated with an upper class, upper class 2-1. Is that what it is? Basically got a second. I would literally like a tiny percentage off of first, which pisses me off to no extent. But I can't redo it because the module that I can redo, I got an A plus on. So <laughs> can't redo it because I can't get a better fucking grade because I got the best grade you can. And you can't redo previous projects after the one that we just did. <laughs> anyway, just moving on from that. But no, I'm not on my gap year. I have officially finished uni, finished school, finished any form of education. I did think about doing, for a slight little bit, I thought about doing a master's in film. I realized whilst I was at uni, doing photography that I really um, were leaning more towards video so I did want to sort of like actually learn and understand film more than just being self-taught but I also just know that I would have absolutely murdered myself being at uni for another two three years that would have not been fun for me can't say I would have wanted to do that and I'm glad I didn't I'm just sort of winging it right now I don't really know what I'm doing so cheers to that who knows what I'll do in the future I'll probably end up on acid who knows my fucking battery's flashing stupid stupid camera What's in my bag check? We've got a mask, we've got a wallet. Oh, where the fuck is all my batteries? Ooh, we've got some money in here. We got a euro. I'm fucking sweating, I tell ya. It's bloody warm in my room. Someone said the most famous person you have met and had a conversation with. Hmm. Don't particularly know. I don't really care about stuff like that. Like I really, mm, I don't know. I can't think off the top of my head. I don't like stuff like that really doesn't bother me at all. I understand the hype at sometimes, but then I also really don't. So unless it's like a music artist, even then I don't know. Cause my favorite music artist, if I saw him in the street, I probably wouldn't say or do anything. I just be like, oh cool, that's fun. Don't really give a fuck about stuff like that. I can't lie, don't really bother me too much. There's quite a few people that are, like, are on TV that live in this apartment block or like that we've seen in the gym. And it's more so just awkward because it's like, you know when you see someone out and you're trying to like, often I go to the gym with her. So I'm like, if we see someone in the gym, I'm like, I really recognize that person. And then it clicks where I recognize them from. And I'm like, oh fuck, it looks like I've been staring at them. And they they definitely know now that I know who they are. But there are quite a few people in TV that live in this apartment, which means they share the same gym as us. And me and hers have had quite a few awkward encounters where either I've recognized someone and tried to be like, oh, Haz, that's that person. Or she's recognized someone and tried to be like, oh, Byron, that's that person. And it's often me being like, what? Who? And they stood right behind us, so um, that's always fun. I'm honestly getting back it from sitting on the floor. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it to the bedroom. I hope you don't mind. Ooh, I hate this angle and I hate what this looks like right now. Oh, some people actually crack me up. Some people make me chuckle. My room's too bright for my eyes that like anyone with blue eyes will understand that I'm constantly squinting because of one tiny bit of sun I'm like. Someone said, why do I keep shitting even when I douche? I'm scared I'm gonna do it in real life and I don't wanna poo on him. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ. Some people need help. Someone said, how's your relationship life going? And in all honesty, um, I don't really know why you'd ask me that because I think it takes one look at my Instagram, one look at my YouTube channel to know that I am not in any form of relationship whatsoever and have never been. Yeah. Sorry to the girls that I dated in high school. Wouldn't really count it, not gonna lie. Why do I look like this? Like I look like Addison Rae. I'm a little shoddy the baddest. I need a haircut. Why did you move to Manchester? So we got loads of questions on moving vlogs about why we moved to Manchester, why Fred didn't move, etc, etc. So we moved to Manchester because we graduated, obviously. We didn't have any ties to London anymore. We were currently in like the actual lockdown was happening whilst we were living in London. And we realized that if this was gonna continue as a lockdown or anything like that, we would be paying an extortion amount of rent to live in London, but not even being able to experience London legally. That made it sound like we'd do it illegally. I mean, like just like we couldn't experience London not even if we wanted to or not so that sort of put us off at first but also rent prices in London is ridiculous then council tax on top of that is ridiculous all the stuff like that it was just really cost effective not it and we wanted a nicer apartment I lived in a basement flat for two years and although it wasn't bad like it was a really nice space for when we needed it window in my room that literally had no light in it was the tiniest window ever I felt deprived of sunlight <laughs> yeah the house of just shit basically in the end it was just shit the landlord was shit we all sort of grew to hate it and the thought of spending the same amount of money and getting the same amount of value for 
that again for however long just really put me off. And also as to why we didn't move with Freya. Freya were working retail, she worked in Urban Outfitters as was me and Haz. But obviously me and Haz left Urban Outfitters and started working freelance. Has does a lot of YouTube Instagram stuff and I don't know what the fuck I do, basically. I'm a drug dealer. So we could work from home, whereas Freya obviously we're still working at Urban Outfitters, the pandemic stuff happened. And I love how I say the pandemic stuff happened, like it's not still going on. But obviously Freya was then furloughed and all the rest of it. And it just left her in not a great situation job-wise. Like financially she had savings and stuff, but like she said, she was like, I don't want to blow my savings on rent. Like I don't want to do that because then I'm not going to be able to go on holiday when I want to go on holidays and stuff like that. If all my savings is just going towards my rent and I don't don't know the certainty of a job she was like it's not worth the stress so she just moved back home with her dad and she now has a new job so she's thriving she's actually on a really good income so she said she might consider moving to manchester so we'll just see um that's the situation with that i don't really know what else to add to i feel like this has been the most chill q a ever i feel like i'm on facetime like this feels like a facetime call there's so many questions asking if i've had a threesome i really haven't i wouldn't be mm, i think it depends who it's with like i wouldn't be i want to do it at some point in my life don't get me wrong i want to try quite a lot of things once but it depends who it's with i feel like it'd be better if it were with two people that i don't actually know which also then does also have complications so anyone want to have a threesome let me know I'm gonna end this video here. This is a fucking mess. I don't know what I just spoke about for 40 minutes. We're gonna wrap it up. I'm tired. My eyes are watering and I need to get on with my life. I need to make food. It's two o'clock. Why am I tired? I don't know. I'm not gonna completely disown this channel. I'm still gonna upload some stuff. I probably will have more casual vlogs. I want to put casual vlogs on this channel where it's literally just me in the house and stuff, which will come. Obviously, it's a little bit awkward right now because of the whole corona thing. I don't really know what I can and can't do and I'm currently self-quarantining anyway. So I can't really go out and do stuff, but when we can go out again and when we can actually leave the house and all that fun jazz, then I will be back vlogging more casually on this channel. And then obviously when I'm actually doing something something with my life i'll probably post it on my main channel but i apologize for neglecting this channel i love you all lots and i will chat to you but don't chat to you through the week i'll chat to you through the window see ya what is that from anyway bye oh i didn't even get a thumbnail for this video here's the thumbnail so casually keep diving into concrete so bittersweet